TLE EPP6 Agriculture Quarter 2 Week 5 Let's learn about Systematic and scientific ways of carrying orchard trees or seedlings Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Prel Don't forget to subscribe Like and share and hit the notification bell for the latest video you can also follow my facebook page teacher frel tv for today's lesson in tle6 we will discuss about systematic and scientific ways of carrying orchard trees or seedlings for most essential learning competencies, perform systematic and scientific ways of carrying orchard trees or seedlings such as watering, cultivating, preparing, and applying organic fertilizer, markets fruits and seedlings, and develops plan for expansion of planting trees and seedling production. In this lesson, you will learn how to perform systematic and scientific ways of carrying orchard trees or seedlings such as watering, cultivating, preparing, and applying organic fertilizer, markets fruits and seedlings, and develops plan for expansion of planting trees and seedling production. Growing fruit trees is also important just like planting vegetables because fruits contribute to the nutritional needs of everyone. Selling of fruits can also be a source of income. That is why many people nowadays engage in orchard gardening. But do you know that orchard gardening is not as easy as backyard gardening? There is a lot of work involved and many processes that must be learned and strictly followed. But your experiences in backyard gardening can be of help if you and your family are thinking of starting an orchard gardening project, especially if your family owns a big parcel of land. Systematic Ways of Caring for Orchards Number 1 is Natural This is nature's way of providing water for plants through rain. Number two is manual. This is with the use of water pail and deeper or water sprinkle. And number three is artificial. Water supply is artificially produced from deep well, dumps, and river with the use of water motor pump. There are different types of irrigation. Letter A is surface or furrow irrigation. Here, Water is distributed to each row, so it is applicable only for row crops with uniform slope. B. Sprinkle Irrigation This include the line, rotating, and micro-sprinklers in which artificial rain is generated through special devices that wet the entire field. Letter C. Drip or Trickle Irrigation a special water source designated to discharge water close to the plant, wetting only that area and leaving the rest dry. And letter D, sub-irrigation. This type of irrigation is very expensive because the water source is under the ground. Proper ways of cultivation. Cultivating the land is practiced to help promote the growth of roots and improve aeration for fast absorption of nutrients by the soil. The proper way of cultivation is number 1. Off burying. It means cultivating the soil in rows. Another way of cultivation is number 2. Healing up. It means cultivating the soil towards the base of the plant. When cultivation is undertaken properly, the growth of weeds can be controlled. 
Soil texture will improve plants' growth and destructive microorganisms found in the soil will eventually die. Preparing and Applying Organic Fertilizer Fertilizer is any substance added to the soil that promotes the healthy growth of the plants. Fertilizers are classified into two types. Number one, inorganic. It means artificial fertilizer made from chemicals like liquid, soluble, gaseous, and granular form. There are advantages in using inorganic fertilizer, such as odorless and handy, always available in the market, and fast production. But, there are also disadvantages in using this kind, such as hazardous to animals, made of chemicals, expensive, and makes the soil unfertile, unproductive, and acidic. Another type of fertilizer is Number 2, Organic Natural Fertilizer Our materials from decayed matter, animals, and other natural resources. These organic natural fertilizers are natural, easy to produce, promote the growth of beneficial organism, adds more nutrients to the soil, and very high in production. There are also disadvantages in using organic fertilizer, such as foul odor, and it takes time to prepare soil. Pulverized eggshell, oyster shell, bone meal, and any lime will neutralize the acidity of the soil. It helps the development of roots, flowers, shoots, and fruits. Marketing your products Marketing is one of the most challenging activities in an orchard gardening. It is a business activity of presenting products or services to make them desirable. One of the first steps in this undertaking is to make sure your products are marketable. To do this, you need to come up with specific standards for inspecting and ensuring quality control. Marketing Strategies Once your products have undergone quality control inspection, and are deemed marketable, you may start promoting them. Below are some ways one can promote and market a product. Number one, conduct a survey to find the needs of the community. What fruits are in demand? Number two, prepare and distribute pamphlets, flyers, and brochures that contain information about the location and the picture of products. Number three, use online marketing tools. Number four, post contact numbers for clients who want to order or inquire about the product. And number five, keep a record of sales. Next is plan for future expansion. Every business should have a future plan for expansion. A successful orchard is important to the community and environment. Its benefits stand as evidence that expansion is necessary. Here are tips for future expansion. Community survey and symposium to find the needs of the locality. Build relationship with stakeholders of the community, the local government unit, schools and private sectors that run related business. Real market status understands the demand. What is the fruit rate of sales? Open for investments and franchising. Conduct survey of the availability of experienced, skilled or chart technician. And now let us do learning task 1. Please read the following in complete sentences below and fill the blank with appropriate word. Write your answer in a sheet of pad paper. Choose your answer inside the box. The words inside the box are artificial, marketing, cultivation, natural, 
manual fertilizer. Number one, blank is any substance added to the soil that promotes the healthy growth of the plants. What is the correct word? Very good! The correct answer is fertilizer. Number two, blank is a way of watering the plant through rain. What is the correct word? Very good! The correct answer is natural. Number three, blank is a way of watering the plant that use water pail and deeper or water sprinkle. What is the correct word? Very good! The correct answer is manual. Number four, blank is a business activity of presenting products or services to make them desirable. What is the correct word? Very good! The correct word is marketing. And number five, Blank is a practice of loosening the soil to help promote the growth of roots and improve aeration for fast absorption of nutrients. What is the correct word? Very good! The correct answer is cultivation. Learning Task 2 Write yes if the statement is correct and no if it is incorrect. Write your answer in a sheet of pad paper. Number 1. Before you market the seedlings, there is a need to come up with specific standards for inspecting and ensuring quality control to know whether the seedlings are ready for sale. Is it yes or no? Very good! The correct answer is yes. Number 2. Create and maintain a system of tracking production and sales called record of liabilities. Is it yes or no? Very good! The correct answer is no. Number 3. Inorganic fertilizers are natural from decayed matter, animals, and other natural resources. Easy to produce, promote the growth of beneficial organism, adds more nutrients to the soil, and very high in production. Is it yes or no? Very good! The correct answer is no because the wrong word for this sentence is inorganic fertilizer. It should be organic fertilizer. Number 4. One of the marketing strategy is to use online marketing tools. Is it yes or no? Very good! The correct answer is yes. And number five, cultivating the soil towards the base of the plant is called off burying. Is it yes or no? Very good! The correct answer is no because it's not called off burying. It is called healing up. And for learning task three, Perform simple orchard gardening in your backyard or container garden. Record and observe the growth progress of the seedlings using the given table below. Then, grab the result. Write the samples of seeds, fruit-bearing trees. My examples are mango seeds and the London seeds. And in the second column, Write the growth progress of seedlings in centimeters from day 1 to day 6. For example, the growth progress of mango seed in day 1 is 1 cm, day 2, 2 cm, day 3, 4 cm, day 4, 6 cm, day 5, 10 cm, and day 6, 15 cm. And the growth progress of the London seed in day 1 is 1 cm, day 2, 2 cm, day 3, 3 cm, day 4, 5 cm, day 5, 8 cm, and day 6, 10 cm. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! 
Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!